Yo, what is up YouTube? Today we are back in Marvel Infinity and today we are doing another showcase video. In today's video we're going to be showcasing Wanda, Maximoff, and also Vision. So here we go, let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and spawn in as Wanda here. And with Wanda we're going to go ahead and get out of the safe zone obviously so we can use our powers. So Wanda and Vision I don't know if you guys have seen this show or not, but there's a show called WandaVision. So I'm deciding to do these two together because it just fits with the show. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into her powers and abilities. So for her mobility, she has a like a kind of like a super jump thing and levitation. So basically what you want to do is you want to double tap your space bar like this and you will launch into the air like that. But to make it last longer, if you double tap your space bar and then when you get launched, double tap it again in midair, it will look something like this and you can hover around like this. So it's a slower fall. So that's pretty cool. That's really her only mobility thing. So let's go ahead and get over this fence here. So as you can see, and then in the air, we'll go ahead and try out her first attack. This is the attack she comes with, which is called energy bolt. And all you have to do is left click for this to work so as you can see it does all right damage it's not the best obviously but it gets the job done so that is her first attack called energy bolt her next attack we're going to be trying well it's not really an attack but her next power we're going to be trying is called telepathic sense and in order to do this all you have to do is hold u and it will show you all the enemies around you so as you can see you can see the prisoners because they're outlined in white so that is pretty cool uh it's pretty helpful i guess in pvp scenarios but in regular grinding that's not really helpful at all so the next thing we have here is i'm gonna is energy shield and in order to do this you're gonna have to hold e but first let me go ahead and attack this guy so he starts attacking us and then i'll go ahead and hold e and as you can see um that was weird he kind of fell through the map but anyway he cannot hit us so that's pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and get away from him just so we can try out our other powers on him so now the next power we have is called energy beam and in order to do this you want to press and hold z and aim with your mouse so we'll go ahead and do that as you can see it really just melts away his health which is a pretty good power to have so honestly that's a really good power that Wanda does have. Now the next ability that she does have is called telekinesis. And in order to do this, again, you aim with your cursor and you're gonna wanna go ahead and hold T. And you can move around the characters like this. You can put them under you as well and use them as mobility. So like if you wanted to fly around on a dumpster, you can. And also this is a really good ability because it does not aggro the characters, which I like a lot. Anyway, um, I don't know why I flew away that far, but let's go ahead and get on one of these dumpsters real fast so I can show you how it would work if you were going to fly around on a dumpster. Basically, you would get on the roof of it, you would aim at it, hold T, and if you move it with your mouse, you can see how... I did it wrong that time, but as you can see, you can see the gist of the idea on how it would work if I had it right. Basically, you just move around on the dumpster like this, and you'll move around pretty fast, and yeah, that's a mobility thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the next attack here. The next attack we have is Psionic Blast. So in order to do this, I'm, you're going to hold H again. So you're going to hold H like this, and it will charge up, and you want to aim with your cursor. And then when you let go of H, it will launch him pretty far away. I'm not sure how much damage that did, though. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's grab him so he doesn't attack us. So as you can see, it did a little bit less than half. Right now, he's gaining a little bit more health, but that's all right. So that was Psionic Blast. The next ability or attack that she has is called Energy Blast. And in order to do this, you're going to want to go ahead and hold R and aim with your mouse. Actually, you can just press R on this one as well instead of holding. If you just press R, it'll work as well. This is one of her good kind of fast speed attacks because the cooldown is kind of big, but not too big enough. So it's annoying. But anyway, you can go ahead and mix this into the original just left click attack here. So you can use energy bolt and then throw in a energy blast in there to get the job done a little quicker. So her next ability we're going to be using is energy bomb. So in order to do this, you're going to want to go ahead and hold Q and aim with your mouse again. And that did all right. I mean, it wasn't the best kind of damage, 
but I guess it was all right. So we're going to go ahead and finish him off with the other abilities. So the next thing we're going to be showing is one of her final things. It's called super mode. So in order to do this, you're just going to press G. And as you can see, your eyes do glow red. You have like a little red glow around the screen. And once you do this, you unlock an ability called uh, teleke telekinetic throw. This is her most powerful ability. So in order to do this, you're going to want to go ahead and hold N. And while holding N, you can see we're pulling up these big chunks of cement metal and stuff and you're going to want to go ahead and click at what you want to hit you have two shots to click and as you can see they one shot prisoners which is pretty cool anyways guys that is wanda's showcase here so let's go ahead and move straight on to vision so we're going to go ahead and reset and spawn in his vision and do his little showcase here as well so we're going to hit play let's go ahead and find vision vision should be yep right here this is vision let's go ahead and spawn them in and vision and wanda are lovers in the somatic universe so it only is right to do them together anyway if you guys have watched it you should know that vision uses the mind stone which is in his head and in order to get vision you need the mind stone so in order in order to get wanda i never said that yet um is you have to pay 850 robux and then you'll be able to unlock her for free after you pay the robux of course so technically it's not for free but it does not require any shield credits so vision is obtainable by getting the mind stone and then buying shield credits if you guys need help finding the infinity stones and how to get them they are all in my channel go ahead and go to my channel and you will see i made videos on how to find all the infinity stones and the dark hold Anyways, let's get into his showcase. So Vision only has five abilities, but he is a pretty good character in my opinion. So his first thing is a mobility, and obviously it's called flight. All you have to do is press F and you'll start flying. Now, while you're in the air, the only time this ability will work is while you're in the air. You're gonna wanna go ahead and hold E, and this will activate your phase ability. So you could just start phasing through objects, and also if you are being attacked and you press the phase button, you will not take any damage. And the phase can only be activated once you're in the air. As you can see, I'm on the ground now, and I'll hold E, and nothing will happen. So just keep that in mind. Now, his next two... Well, well, first we'll do punch. Punch is just normal, you know, left click. It doesn't really do much, so we're not really going to try it out on one of these guys because I don't want to die. But anyway, his last two abilities are both attack abilities. So first we have Energy Blast. If you hold V, you'll see it does charge up in his head, and then you aim with your mouse, and you let go of V, and it attacks them so this has like pretty much no cooldown at this point cooldowns like one second which is not bad at all but as you can see we completely obliterated that prisoner and yeah that's a pretty decent attack my favorite attack that he has is this last attack we're going to be going over in his showcase it's called the mind stone beam in order to do this attack you're going to want to hold z and aim with your mouse and as you can see it charges up and then it will blast them and it launches them pretty far as you can see he went flying guys but his health is pretty much gone so we're gonna finish him off with the mind beam mind stone beam and yeah that is really all of his abilities he's a well-rounded character just does not have a lot of abilities to do but if you use him right you can basically dodge every attack by just going through buildings you know and getting in shots whenever you can but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed these videos and these showcases if you do make sure to like and maybe even subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace